Heidi ho there friends and neighbors Bobby here today hey folks today I will make a video on actually painting part of an automobile we've been working on this little Nissan Altima project here you bring the camera right on over here and you've seen our other two videos where we showed you how to do some body work and put some primer on it and block it down and everything now in this video we're going to go ahead and show you how to paint it. all right we've got it inside our garage got it jacked up wheels are off we're getting ready to start masking this thing up We've uh, finished wet sanding earlier today. We washed the whole car. We blew it off real good, let it dry. We're gonna start taping it up and I'll show you some of the techniques that I use in back taping to prevent some additional trash from getting in your clear coat. And as you see, we're gonna paint this corner, uh, blend our base up to here, and we're gonna clear this whole little strip all the way up to the windshield. And we're gonna clear, we gotta blow some base coat down here on the bumper probably blow it all the way to this whole corner here and then we're going to clear the whole entire bumper all the way around so stay tuned we'll show you how we get this done okay guys real quick i want to show you that we've already done a little bit of pre-masking here we went ahead and ran tape line all the way around the areas that we're going to paint and we made sure we got exactly covering up all of our uh, what we don't want to paint anyway we got it covering up good and we're going to paper up all this we're going to plastic up the the bulk of the car and paper around all the areas that we got the tape line. That's what we're gonna do right now. I went ahead and hung my gas door and uh, taped off the area right here in the middle. And uh, we've blown this out real good and we're gonna end up blowing it out real good before we paint. I'm gonna shoot a little bit of base in here around this edge here. And then we're gonna shut the door. And, and then we're gonna, when we clear the car, we won't open the door anymore after that. But we just gotta make sure we keep that blown out good, tacked off really good, because we don't don't want any trash blowing out of that area onto our clear once we start clearing. So I'm gonna start plasticking this thing off, and we'll get this thing ready to paint here in a little bit. Okay, guys, hey, we got this thing taped up, ready to start uh, wiping down. We're gonna wipe down with some wipes and grease remover one more time, and then we will get our tack rag out, and we will tack everything. We'll tack the paper and the car. We've already blown the car one more time with about 35 pounds of pressure. And uh, we're gonna wipe it down, tack it, tack the paper too. And then I'm gonna go inside, change some clothes, and we're gonna get ready to start putting down some base coat. Okay guys, hey, we're getting ready to mix up some base coat here. We got just some mixing cup. And this Nason base coat, you mix it one to one. So let's see if I can pour some in here without making a big huge mess and we're gonna go up here to the number two line on this thing and there we go we are right there make sure that's right it's my number two right mm -hmm. all right and we uh, shook this up and stirred it up and put the lid back on it and shook it up again so now we have a reducer this is our base coat reducer. I don't know if it's a reactive reducer or not. I know PPG used to have a reactive reducer that we used in their paint. So we're gonna move it on up to the two mark again. I'm about blind. I don't have my glasses on. Okay. We're right and put my glasses on. Yep, I think we're good right there. All right, folks, we're ready to pour this in, get us in our base coat gun, and we're gonna go start shooting some base on. Okay, folks, hey, what we've done so far, we went ahead and cut, shot some base coat on the inside edge of our gas door, and we hung it, and we've already shut it. We got two coats there, good coverage there, so I'm happy with that. So we're gonna just go ahead and base this whole area. Down here, I blew a little bit of base on the corner, went ahead and installed that mud flap, and wiped it down got it secure so we got everything back together on the car so when we're done we're done so friends i'm gonna go ahead and start just getting what i'm trying to do is just get base on here right now not really worried too much about breaking up metallic i just want to get two or three coats however many coats it takes for me to um end up getting coverage over this gray primer
Okay guys, I got two coats of base coat on here and I still don't have full coverage yet. I can see the primer gleaming through. So it looks like it might take four. I'm thinking four, maybe five coats of base coat and we'll slowly work our blend. We're trying to stay away from this edge over here, but even if we get there, no big deal. It'll probably be from that door line down to somewhere. I don't think we ever really noticed uh, a difference, even if it doesn't match exactly perfectly. So that's where we're at right now. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. Hey, we're getting ready to put our final coat of base coat on here. I just wanted to show you a little technique that I use. It took us five coats until it looked like it actually, I had good enough coverage. And so now with the six coat, I'm actually going to, I always typically start from the bottom back and forth but we're actually gonna double coat with like a 45 degree angle. And the reason we're gonna do that is to try to break up any of the metallic in this paint. This paint does have some metallic and we cut our fan spray up just a little bit so it throw out just a little bit bigger fan. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and shut, put this last coat on and I'll show you kind of how to do it. You might wanna move this way to the camera. We're breaking up that metallic when we take them cross strokes. And we're gonna blow it just a little bit further than we got it right now. Coming back across this way, not worried about wetting it up too much. Clear coat's what's gonna give us the uh, shine that we need. So that's it, friends. We'll be waiting about 15, 20 minutes and then we'll be putting on our clear coat. Okay guys, it's been about um, 20 minutes or so. Base coat has had plenty of time to uh, kind of cure up a little bit. We should be able to take a tack rag and re-tack everything. And we're gonna go, and go, go ahead and go mix up some clear and I'll show you that and we'll get this job done. Okay fixed. guys, what we're using today is uh, Nason's High Tech 7100 High Gloss Universal Clear and it mixes four parts to one, okay? I'm not I'm actually going to use this mixing cup on the four to one ratio here We'll probably fill it up to uh, the number two mark on both of them And I think that'll give us enough clear to put three coats on this thing So we're, we're gonna get that done and start clearing this project. Okay guys We're gonna go ahead and mix up our clear. I'll go ahead and show that to you right quick Don't ever shake clear, but if you want to you can simply just stir it up a little bit but I wouldn't ever shake clear because it'll actually kind of get kind of foamy on you. But we'll stir it a little bit. You can stop the camera. Okay, I think we're about ready now. That should be good enough. All right, we're gonna use our mixing cup here on the four to one ratio scale. So if I can do this without getting it all over myself. There we go. We're gonna pour it up to the number two mark. That is right there. Okay, now we're going to take our hardener and we're going to go up to the two mark for the one part ratio. All right, we are there. Okay, now we can stir that up and it'll be ready to strain and go in our gun and put some clear on this project. Okay guys, I'm getting ready to start clearing this thing. I'm gonna let the camera person stay in here just one minute. And, t and then the fumes, I want her to get out of here. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna start down low, start cutting in our trim around the edge, around the bottom of the bumper. I'll probably go all the way over and probably start painting the bumper this way. And then I'll continue up this way and up to there. Now, she's only gonna film just a little bit of this. I'm gonna have her step out. And then we're just gonna show you in between coats what it looks like. We need a little bit more pressure on this gun. Yeah, we need a little bit more pressure. I'm gonna cut this in. Go back out and adjust it. Hey guys, hey, we were actually unable to film any more of the uh, clear coat application on the car. 
but we did want to finish this video with some of the pictures that we took the next day and the day after we had to do some uh, color sanding and buffing on it got everything back together customer is very happy with their car and you can check out these pictures uh, that we're getting ready to show right now don't forget to subscribe tell a few friends about us and we'll see you next time take care